Howdy there, folks. This is your host, Bert Toadberger, and I'm back again to host week four of the Southern Cooking Show. Well, uh, what we've got for you is a super spanking recipe this week, and uh, but we'll get into that in just a moment. I'd like to talk a little bit about last week. Well, last week was a disaster. I accidentally let out the secret of who was working in our pizza topping factory, smashing those critters with her oversized giant butt. Well, when people figured out who that was, they returned almost all 10 million of those pizzas they had ordered. And now the bank is trying to repo my Lambo. Oh, such a shame. And I had just installed oversized giant tractor tires on it so I could buggy around in the deepest parts of the swamp. Well, that's the way the pizza crumbles. Well, let's go over here and take a look at this. Okay, now, uh, as you recall, week one, we started with a breakfast cereal. And uh, it totally flopped. So we're going to go back to the drawing board and try again. And this is new and improved Nutri-Niblets. And we discovered that the original Nutri-Niblets was nowhere nutritious enough. So uh, we had to add some nutrition to it. So we uh, found some ingredients in the dumpster behind the CVS. Robbie, come on in here and take a close up of uh, what we found in there. Yeah, yeah, just come right in there. Okay, that's fine, right there. Now, you see, we got some petrified donuts and we got some uh, candy bars that are about 10 years old from under the car seat, uh, moldy peanut butter, uh, rotten milkshake, some sour Gatorade, some roadkill pizza, some rock hard crackers. And of course, the original ingredient, because we had tons of them left over, was the Nutri Niblets. So we started with that and we put it over here in this crock pot. Robbie, let's take a look at that crock pot there. It's been smoldering in there for about three weeks. Now over here, we have the secret of the nutrition. Now these are expired vitamins and expired medications from the pharmacy. Now uh, those are what give it its new and improved nutrition. Now over here, we have a secret ingredient that gives it the fruity flavor. That's skunk juice. Yes, sir. Now what we need, we'd like to ask for a victim, I mean oh, a volunteer from the audience to come up and taste test new and improved nutrient bits. Uh, Karina, are you out there? Come on up here and test it. Karina! Well, you're not Karina. Where's Karina? She's in the hospital. Uh, well, uh, what's your name? Frosty. Frosty? Well, uh, what happened to Karina? Last week, it jambalaya poisoned her. Uh, poison jambalaya? Well, uh, th those were lame crawdads. Those they weren't, Daddy. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, uh, go ahead and test it. Uh, you'll be fine to uh, take Karina's place. Taste it, Nick. Try that fruity flavor. It tastes me. Uh, uh oh. Oh my goodness. She fell asleep. Well, uh, well, that never happened before. Let's, uh, let's just kind of push her over here and let's uh, get her uh, so she can take a nap. Okay, uh, well, uh, that unexpectedly gave us some extra time. We gotta burn up, so. Uh, we'll use it to do a Q&A from the audience. Uh, who out there has got a question for Bert? Yes, yeah, yes, you there. What's your question for Bert? What's that big thing on your ear that looks like a giant hand? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, uh, back in the 1970s, uh, a skeeter landed on my ear and started sucking the blood out of my head. And, uh, boy, he just never left. Uh, he's been there for about 50 years now, and he just grew bigger and bigger and bigger. And he's one of them southern killer swamp skeeters. Well, uh, he's with me at all times now. He just kind of lives there. Uh, I call him Bernie. 
Well, uh, anyway, uh, that'll wrap it up for this week. Uh, now, uh, we would like to um, uh, tell you that new and approved Nutrinibbits will be available at your Quickie Mart and your 7-Eleven, your local gas station, your Home Depot, and now available at the Salvation Army. Bye, Bert's saying bye-bye now. See you next week. Thank you.